While working in Autodesk Fusion 360, you may create a sketched feature and place on the wrong face or plane. This tech tip will help you change that very quickly using redefine sketch plane command. In this example, I have a star or star wheel with a counterboard slot on one side. It's on the short side of the hub. I made a mistake and it should be on the long side. I could change the hub or I could re-sketch this cutout, but I want to do this with the new command called redefine sketch plane. So I find the sketch. And I know it's this second sketch or third sketch. I right click on it, say redefine sketch plane. At this point, don't get excited. Everything's going to go away that is in the timeline ahead of it, but simply pick on the plane you want to switch to and say OK. And you'll see it automatically switches to the front. Now there may be occasions when you have to look at some of the constraints and be sure they're still intact. I think I'll do that just to be sure. I'm going to go ahead and edit the sketch and be sure everything is fully constrained. Depending on how you sketch, sometimes a sketch constraint may be lost or it may be misplaced. So always check. Let's take another look at redefined sketch plane on another object. This is a one-bodied object, but I have three sketches. One for the circular feature, one for the hexagonal feature, and one for the whole. Of course, a base feature I'm not going to change. But let's say that I wanted the round extruded tube to go out another plane in this part. So I simply right click on the sketch in the timeline, redefine sketch plane, and I'm going to go up to the origin and pick on the plane Y, X, Z, excuse me, to go up through the top and the bottom. Pick on that, say OK, and that's how quick it is. Now, as I said before, be sure that you go in, check on your plane or your sketch to be sure that you did not lose any constraints important step. It will happen occasionally, which I'll demonstrate next model. Let's do the hexagonal feature. Right click on the sketch, redefine sketch plane. I'm going to go and pick on the YZ and say OK. Again, it is advisable to always check on your sketch to be sure it's still constrained. The hole was placed with a sketch also. Let's put it through the actual hexagon instead of the block. So I right click on that, redefine sketch plane, pick on the YZ again, and say OK. So easy. Again, check your sketch to be sure your constraints are in place. In my last example, the keyway on this end of the roller is in line with this keyway and you find that your design says it should be 90 degrees out or over on this side. So we're going to do this by establishing a new work plane. There's the original. I'm going to slide my end apart my timeline back to just after that work plane. I'm going to create a new work plane. I'm going to look at the surface directly and create a tangent work plane. Pick on this surface, accept to zero, and there's my new plane. Now all I have to do is drag my inner part marker back, find a sketch for that feature, there it is right there, right click on it, redefine sketch plane, and pick on a new surface. Now it's very important to check on your sketch, so let's take a look. Aha, a problem. It's not hooked to the end of the shaft like it was before. The projected geometry is just showing reference, but not on the end. So I need to repair it. So the first thing I'm going to do is take off the fixed constraint, and then I'm going to project the end, 
and then reattach it with a collinear which fixes it perfectly stop sketch and I'm finished except for turning off the work plane visibility better do it up here it's easier thank you for watching this tech tip